too much Saturday night wrestling there. We can't get a yeah. on our ropes. Okay, here we go, folks. They're flying for fifteen hundred dollars in cash plus some trophies, and uh, this is gonna be good. Now again, you folks that are getting the DCP rides, you should get an excellent ride to see these balloons. We're going to change our pattern to match the flow of the balloons. So where the balloons go, we're going to take the DC-3. I've still got some programs and some posters for sale. If anybody wants one, it's one dollar. Come up here to see me right quick and we'll sure take care of you. We still got t-shirts and hats for sale. Be sure to pick up one of those on your way out. Here we go, folks. We'll try to let you know exactly who's flying the black balloons as they uh, as they move around. I want to recognize everybody. Now you can see the uh, air balloon with the ball on top. That's who they got to chase. And again, some of these pilots are so good they can follow them and reach over the side of the basket and set that uh, that baggie right down in the middle. Now again, folks, they're putting a bunch of strain on these things. If you'll look, they've got them tied off to the back of those vans. I have seen those balloons pull a F-150 Ford pickup truck three feet. Now, I don't mean the driver drove it three feet. That balloon towed it three feet.
give him a hand now. Come on now. That is William Fussy from Longview, Texas, flying the Stroh's balloon. Would like to give him a wave, but there's a little something between us and him. Okay, who's coming off next? Look at here, folks. The third, fourth one back. Okay, the blue striped one, the fourth one from the left end is the uh, Pritchard Ford Motor Company balloon. Let's give him a big hand. 33 is off the ground. Number 33 is Thomas Whitten from Caledonia, Michigan, folks. Here goes the Osmobile balloon. Number two, Gregory Anderson's coming off from Sarasota, Florida. Here goes the Miller balloon. We, boy, they're all going at one time. The Miller balloon is James Griswold from Manalist, New York. Here goes the red, give me the numbers on these guys. The red lobster balloon's coming off. Number 11, that's Doug Gawkin from St. Louis, Missouri. Give him a big wave. Number nine's coming off the ground. That's Charles Edwards from Tampa, Florida, flying the Grey Ghost Rider. Who we got next? And here we go. Who's next? Everybody see? Now there goes the Pritchard Ford balloon, folks. That's our big sponsor of the year. Who's going to be next? Terry Dillard's coming off. Give me a number on him now. Dillard, Dillard, A, B, C, D. Terry Dillard from Winter Park, Florida. Flying the Tequila Sunrise. Who's going to be next? Number 25, that's Bud Pearson from Gainesville, Florida. Flying the Gator, folks. That's a good name from Florida. Flying the Gator. Who we got next? Which one? Number 14, give a hand here. That's Dan Jones from Swainsville, Georgia, flying the Little Black. Give him a big wave there, folks. There we go. Who we got next? Okay, here goes the one on the end. That's uh, the, the, the Indian Summer, no. No, no, Tequila Sunrise by being flown by Richard Mittier. And he is from Berkeley, Ohio, folks. There goes our DC-3, and they're going to get one beautiful sight. Number 24 is next. That's Kelvin Autocrans from Wheatfield, Colorado, folks. And he's flying the Lofty Otter. Which one was that? That one there. We got three more, four more to come off, five more to come off. The 92 WAZE, the incredible left film radio right here in Albany. The Silken Serpent. Silken Serpent, Silken Serpent, that is. Silken Serpent is David Stonball from Kissimmee, Florida. He is flying the Silken Serpent, folks. Who's next? Now, y'all get a good picture of this, folks. All these balloons sitting off in the sunrise, sunset. There ain't no sunset, but that is one beautiful sight. Here goes the Oldsmobile team. We want to wish them good luck. I don't know who's flying that balloon this time. They got two pilots that fly that thing. Sanford Neal's flying the Oldsmobile balloon today, folks. Here goes the Mellow Yellow, and that's uh, right out here in front of us. That's Rob Scrantz from Jacksonville, Florida. He's got Schultz, Scrantz, Schultz. And he is from uh, da, 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 Jacksonville, yeah, Jacksonville, Florida. That's the Mellow Yellow balloon. Number 23 is coming off, folks. That's Jack O'Connell from Tallahassee, Florida, flying the Irish Fist. Give him a big hand, folks. Huh? Richard who? Jane O'Connor's flying it. Okay. Oh, Jane O'Connor. Okay, it says Jack. We got Jane. 
Jack and Jill, Jack and Jane out there. Everybody wave, come on. Miss O'Connor, give us a big wave down here. There we go. And there goes the 90. Who we got over here? Number 18, that is John Leffler from Aurora, Colorado, CO. I guess what it is, he is flying the cloud clipper. John, give us a big hand down here. Give us a big wave. John, come on, big wave down here. There we go. Number 31, that is, that's David, yeah. I thought he was gone. David Steinball flying the number 92, W-A-Z-E, the incredible FM radio. Look there, folks. Look at them balloons out across yonder. Absolutely gorgeous. Again, the burner in these flanks is putting out 94 million BTU, uh, 94, 24 million BTU could heat your house for the rest of your life on one flight, folks. Number five's coming off, that's Harold Carter from Lithonia, Georgia. That's the Atlantic Rising. Huh? Oh, this is his home. He's from here? Right here. There we go. From right here in Albany, Georgia. How about that, folks? Give him a hand. Come on, one of your own hometown boys. There we go. Rob Shots, we're waiting on you out here. You've been known to bring up the rear. Tail gunner, huh? There we go. He'll be off in a minute. Again, folks, what they're doing, you can see that fan running out there and it's pumping cold air into that balloon until it gets approximately 75% uh, completely round. Then they'll pump that hot air into that thing. Again, it shoots the flame out about two feet across and about 10 feet long. And you can be standing about 10 feet away from that thing and feel the heat with no problem at all. Now we're gonna be awarding the uh, the money and the trophies to the winners of this thing here in a you know, hour or so as soon as they get back. How many you want? You want one? Two? Okay. Let me give us a change out here. My, my, my man's let me down. Over the here. Georgia Balloon Classic which has been going on at the Albany Airport all weekend. There was a slight mix-up at the airport terminal as a result of the show, however. Commercial flights for both Atlantic Southeastern and Eastern Metro Express Airlines were delayed for at least half an hour. During that time, the planes remained in a holding pattern over the airport with the airport closed to commercial traffic. Passengers for flights out of Albany were also waiting and an Eastern employee said some Metro Express passengers were boarded on Atlantic Southeastern to make their connections in Atlanta on time. Airport manager Bob Duell said the mistake was made by the airline pilots who apparently were not notified or ignored memos issued well in advance explaining there would be a delay. The planes were finally permitted to land and commercial traffic continued, although behind schedule. Up next on News Center 10's weekend report...